Okay, we're looking at section 4.5, proving congruence using ASA or AAS. And now you're familiar, it's angle side angle or angle angle side. And this is basically the last of our, our rules um, for this with our A's and our S's. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, if you look at this picture here, I want you to copy it down. The picture so you can kind of see you have an angle side angle this means your side has to be between these two angles so notice I have angle angle the side is between them angle angle the side is between them okay that's ASA so take a moment write that down angle angle side means I have to go angle I don't know about the side in between then I find another angle and the very next side is going to be congruent so I go angle and then I go right away to another angle and the very next side has to be congruent. Angle, angle, side. Take a moment, make sure you got a picture down for that. I know I'm skipping example one, we're going right to example two. We're looking at our figure here, it looks kind of scary. So let's just take a moment and take a deep breath and we will highlight what we need to highlight. It says complete the congruence statement and state the postulator theorem that applies. So we have all our choices, you know we have Side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. In fact, I'm going to take a moment, and if you have it, I mean, you have it all in your notes, I know, but let's just, this might be one of those things that you do that memory dumping right on your test as soon as you get it. Like, what is the list of all of them that we've studied? Okay, so I have to do triangle W, X, Y. Triangle W, X, Y. So I come from here over here, and down, and then back. So there's my triangle. Okay, and um, it looks to me like right now I'm going to be looking for another triangle that has angle, side, angle. And I want to point out that this angle has one marking, this angle has two, and the segment has one marking. So I have to find that same thing. I can't just say, oh, this. It has to be congruent to this angle, which is right down here. So I'm going to put a dot there to kind of mark that out. Then as I move across from here to here, I come across the one, one marked segment, which would be equivalent to down here. Okay, and then as I move across up here, I end up at a corner or the angle that has two, the two congruency markings, which is over here. So it looks like this triangle right here would be my congruent triangle. Okay, now I have to write out my, what's that called again? The congruent statement. So what angle matches with W? W is the one with the one marking, so that corresponds to V. So triangle V. And then I move my way to X, which is over here, which has the two angle marking. So coming back this way, my two angle marking is corresponding with angle Z. So it has to go V, Z, and it does have to be in this order, otherwise you will miss it. And then Y, is this angle right here? Because I go do, 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 do. So if I'm doing that here, if I start over here, I go V, Z, oh, it's angle Y. Okay, and now I have to say what uh, theorem or postulate works with this. So here's my choice. And I'm noticing I go angle, side, angle. I have angle, the side is between the two angles. So we're going to put down by ASA. Example three. Complete the congruent statement. Oh my gosh, it's the same picture, but we're, we are referring to a different triangle. Triangle W, Y, Z. So here's W, and then we go to Y, and then we go to Z over here. Okay, so as I'm looking at this, my first thought is W has the three congruency markings, so I'm probably starting over here. And then from there, I go down this line with the two, marks. So I'm going to go over here with the two marks. And then I end up at Z, which is over here, which has no congruency marking. Oh, which is where I'm at, no congruency marking. And then I'm going to have to make my way around the triangle here. Okay, so these are congruent triangles. And I'm going to write down, W is going to match the congruency statement. So W matches V, so triangle V. And then we went to Z, which means over here I went to X. So I have V, X, and then this angle over here in the middle, which is Y. 
Okay, now what am I going to use? Right now I only have angle side. And over here I have angle side. Okay, so that kind of limits. We're not going to be using side, side, side. We've got further choices. You're like, but nothing else is marked, Mrs. Tally. Doesn't that mean none? But wait a minute, don't we already know about the reflexive um, segment? We should check, is there a reflexive state statement or reflexive segment? No. But if I look closely, I can't help but notice there's a relationship between this angle and this angle right here. Something that we already know. Da, 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 da. Vertical angles. This angle, we got one, two, three. I'm going to put four because I've already got the other ones used up. Those two angles are going to be congruent. So really, I have an angle here, an angle here, and a side. So I could call this congruent because of angle, angle, and then I have my side. So this is congruent by A, A, S. Example four. Once again, the same picture. Let's highlight what they want us to find. They give us the V, W, Z. So here's V, here's the W, and we're coming around to Z. So this triangle right here, lots of things I can put down for this. I could say I have an angle over here, I see I have a side, and this side is congruent. Okay? Look in my way. V is the corner that has one congruency marking, so that must match up with this corner up here. Then I'm going to W, which has a 3, so I'm going to go from here down to here, the other way, and then I must be coming up this way, around for this triangle. So my purple and my red triangles are congruent. Now I have to figure out why. Okay? Well, let's look. We have side, this doesn't count, you guys. This is not the angle, the purple angle. That's just part of what's inside there. If I could remove it, I would. Okay, but I can't. So I have side, side, angle. Well, that's not going to work because we don't have a side, side, angle. As an option, side, side, angle, still not an option. But let's go back to what we've talked about. Are there vertical angles? Is there a, ref a reflexive segment? And notice how this purple and the red overlap? Oh, that's my reflexive segment. So now let's check. Do I have one that works? It looks like I have an angle, side, angle, which checks with this, which would be angle, side, angle. So they are congruent by angle, side, angle. I did not write down which uh, my congruency statement. So V matches with W. W matches with V. And then Z corresponds with X. So this is triangle VWZ is congruent to triangle WVX. Example five, what additional congruent statement is necessary to prove that the triangles are congruent by the ASA? So in other words, I have A are congruent. I have my S's congruent. So what do I need to show that I can have ASA? So I could go ahead and say, if I knew this angle right here was congruent to this angle right here, then I would be able to say ASA. So I would say angle T, if I knew that angle T was congruent to angle W, then I would be able to use ASA and say these congruence, or these triangles are congruent. Never done.